Hello and welcome to Trade Pandemics, Mechanical Workshop Management Software or Garage Management Software. Uh, the program does everything from bookings, GST, BAS, all the way to payroll and everything in between. So let's start off with the bookings. Uh, you can select the mechanic here. Let's uh, say 8 o'clock, select 8 o'clock. Or right mouse click and book a vehicle. You can also do these things up top of your menu. I'll use the right mouse click. So I'll book a vehicle, there's the time, I'll set the service, I'll say ultimate service, OK, OK. Now I'll put the registration number in there, I'll click on find vehicle. In search of the rego, so we know it starts with Z, this is just one there that starts with Z, so it's in Z triple one. So hold the Commodore, I'll click on that. Vehicle details, the customer uh, name, and the vehicle uh, mate, Bob, etc. Details and service uh, automatically insert on the booking. So I'll click save. There's the booking at 8 o'clock. So when the car arrives, or the vehicle arrives, I'll right mouse click. Say so booking details, click on booking details, then booking details. And I'll click on arrived. And that colour there will change to green, uh, green which means arrived. Click save. So we know this one's arrived. So what I'll do is I'll generate a job card, I'll right mouse click in the booking and select generate job card and there's the job card. Registration number is automatically inserted on the job card, customer details, address, vehicle details, make the model, the year, there's a customer phone number, and select the next service date, you can do it at the invoice level as well, next service kilometers. When you select the next service date, we can click on six, which means six months from now. You can send out retention customer reminder letters via email or SMS to tell them to come back and service the vehicle. Okay, so it's good to use in business. So we'll select, uh, we'll just say six months from today, well, it's about six months. So three hours, $130 an hour. Save that. Go with yellow, indicating pending. What that means, I can order these parts or labour items from here. Click purchase order, email it to the supplier. You can return things and, uh, you know, from here. When I, if I do an order from here or a purchase invoice, it'll put the order number there. Number there. And the return number is also on the right hand side here. Right. Okay, so that's the order number. I mean, sorry, that's the number ordered, that's the number delivered. Say I order four, say there's three, and I order two, and put two there. And say one is delivered, and put one there. That's the purchase order number, that's the delivery number, etc. But um, you don't need to use all that. Okay, so there's the um, job card, just the description, the price, there's the totals. All we do now is uh, once you finish the job, you just click on up here and say generate invoice. Ask if the job's finished. So I'll take it off that list here. I'll go yes. Save it, and there's the invoice. The work number, customer details, the legal details, etc. There's the next service date. You send out um, retention, customer retention reminder letters to tell them to come back and service the vehicle, but the vehicle is due for service. You can send it by SMS or email. Um, the vehicle will be second tab. Put the job description in there, the building inspection. You can do that on a job, job card as well, workshop notes, you can do that on a job card. You can pass it over here, you've done on a job card, so put the point in condition, you can also a delivery report if you print with the job card, prints and prints a um, delivery, like an inspection report. So there's the invoice, so all you do now is to say make payment. 
okay, or I can just save it, I can save as a credit invoice, or I can part pay it, so he pays um, $9 cash, and $100 on Visa, and the rest is going to pay later, balance to is 200 I can say save, I can save the invoice, or I can email it, I'll just save it, top up the right hand side here, the left hand side. So that's the invoice. Okay, well, there's also a, a nice function here as part of the booking system called TimeKeep. Also, I'll create a new time card. So once I'm going back to the booking, back to the booking section or, or sort of the job card in between, when you booked a job in, you can clock the time worked on that job by that mechanic. So I'll find the employee. It's Fred Jones. Was it Fred Jones? Was it? Oh, was it Fred Jones? He's got no jobs there. No, it could be Fred Jones. I'll say enter building. Yeah, he's got to enter the building. Okay, for insurance purposes. So enter building. It goes green up here means started. Add today's work for employee. There's today's work. I'll click on that, it's a start job, this is the started. Now time ticks every minute, it tells you the actual time, actual minutes spent. There's the budget one hour on that. And um, this job here started. Okay, we've got two jobs, two offer services here. But this job here, we've got two vehicles for today. It's, um, this one started, that one hasn't started yet. If we wait a minute, you'll see come up a minute will come up here. Okay, so I might um, pause this for a second and wait for a minute. Okay, a minute has passed. It's saying the actual time is one minute. If I click um, stop clock for meal break, it will time how much meal break it's had. So if I click on that, clock stopped, the meal time clock is ticking on. Okay. And I'll click finish meal break, clock starts, and the um, hours work, minutes work, it starts ticking. I click on personal time, clock stops again, and then you've got end of day in the pencil report. So that's, that's, that's that. Um,